Hi, this is Kat with Beataholic, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the ancient verdigris earrings. Now today, I'm going to be using some vintage patina in the verdigris color here, and I also have my vintage relief block, and we're going to go over how to use that here in this video. So I have two little components, and you can see that they have a little texture on them, so that's going to look really great when we add the patina to that. I also have some really lovely fine chain here. I'm going to be using some jump rings and I have my earring hooks ready to go. And over here, we're going to be using our paintbrush. And then I have my chain nose pliers, my flush cutters, and my bent chain nose pliers. So we're going to use all of that here today. Now you'll notice that I have a little paper towel on my work surface and that's just to help protect that. I'm going to bring in another little towel here just so that it's a little bit more in front of me and you're going to see how we're going to kind of utilize that as well. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take our patina and we want to shake it up and it's going to be a little bit like a nail polish bottle because it's got that little piece in there that's going to help mix up that paint for us. So here we go. All right, don't need to do too much, but just a little bit, get it going. All right, go ahead and open your patina. And I'm going to use a little sticky pad here to add a few drops of that patina. And go ahead and close that up. We want to make sure that that doesn't dry out. So we can go ahead and set that aside now. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and dip your little paintbrush there and kind of just make sure that everything is mixed. Sometimes you have a little bit in there. And then it's always easier to add. So you'll see that I'm just going to add and dab on some color here. Not a lot, not a lot at first, just a little bit, just to give it that little patina effect, of course, but we don't want to add too much at once. So you can kind of just build that color. And what I'm trying to do is I'm just plopping it in there, trying to get it into some of those little crevices there. All right. And just kind of into some of that space there. All right. And now I'm going to take my other paper towel here and just kind of just try to wipe some of that off because I want it to be inside those little reliefs there. So you see that? So you see how it kind of changed? So you can just see from one to the other how that sort of works out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of repeat that process because I want to see if I can darken up those little spaces a little bit more. So I'm going to add some extra patina on top and really just try to get in there as much as I can. But because this is a fast drying patina, we want to make sure that we're coming in there really quickly and trying to wipe that off. All right, so yeah, you can see it's darkening a little bit there, which is really lovely. Now I'm just kind of moving my finger around there and I want to make sure that I get this little pocket over here. All right. There we go. Now you can do that with the paper towel there, but what we're also going to do just to add a little extra something to it is we're going to come in that with that relief block and I'm going to use this backside here just to give it a little buff and a little shine on the top. And what this is going to do is that it's just going to make sure that any of that other extra patina that may have been on top there is just going to kind of go away so we can relief it doing that. And you can see that it actually does dry really, really quickly. So just to see the one and two there, you can see how different that is. Very cool, right? All right, so let's pretend I did my other piece of patina there, but I'm gonna move this aside because I want to construct these earrings for you. All right, so we can come to our little piece here. And again, let me set that aside and bring my tools in. Perfect. All right, so I have a nice long length of chain here. But what we need to do is we are going to cut off 25 links. Now, sometimes it's easier to just go with a size, but anytime I feel that you're doing earrings, you definitely want to count the links so that they are absolutely even. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to kind of keep my flush cutters in hand, and this is just my little trick for you. So I'm going to count 25, and I'm going to cut on the 26th. All right, so here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So I know that I can sneak my flush cutters in there, and that's where I can kind of pick up and grab it. 
And now I'm just gonna cut across that entire link and separate that out. All right, so now we have that ready to go. And set our flush cutters aside. And I'm gonna use some of these little jump rings here to attach my piece. There we go. And just go ahead and open up your little jump ring, attach it to one side here, and attach it to one side of the chain. And go ahead and just give it a little twist. Make sure we have a nice good closure. There we go. All right. Now I didn't do the back side of my piece. You absolutely can if you wanna get kind of a 360 feel. You can do the back side of your uh, piece in that same patina as well. You'll see it has that same texture on the back. All right, so now we want to attach that and attach the other side of our chain so we have a little loop happening there. And close that up. All right. And now we're gonna to come to the center of that chain. And let me just count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 13, so I can see it right in there. I'm gonna open one more jump ring here. And I'm gonna sneak it down there so I can pick it up. Perfect. So we have a nice little triangle happening there. And now all I need to do is slip on my earring hook and close that up. There we go. So that is how to make the ancient verdigris earrings featuring vintage patina. I hope you enjoyed this video. To see even more tutorial videos and get all of these supplies, head over to beataholique.com. And if you're new to our YouTube channel here, be sure to hit that subscribe button below to get all the latest from Beataholique.